Today we're at Wixom, Michigan, the home of Trigicon, maker of brilliant aiming solutions. Trigicon started with a couple of small ideas and has transformed itself into the premier maker of battle-tested optical gun sights in the world. And among those sights is the ACOG. It's an acronym that stands for Advanced Combat Optical Gun Sight. It is tough as nails, it is made here in the United States, and it is made by a dedicated workforce who supports our police, our military, and you, the armed citizen. So the ACOG is very simple in design, but there's a lot below the surface. It's a fixed magnification gun sight. There are seven magnifications available from one and a half power all the way up to a six power. But all of them share the same underlying DNA, and that's the Binden aiming concept, which really wasn't invented, but it was really popularized and explained well by the uh, Glenn Binden, the, the founder of Trigicon. And with uh, the Binden aiming concept, or BAC, users can rely on shooting with both eyes open. For the first 18 years, sales were pretty slow. It was, you know, a new product on the market. It was a small company, and so the marketing resources were fairly small. So we had some early adoptions uh, by uh, military units, but not in large quantities. So in, in talking to Stephen Binden, our, our current CEO, we learned that it took 18 years to manufacture and sell the first 100,000 ACOGs. Um, but after being picked up by the Marine Corps as the first ever RCO or rifle combat optic in 2004, we then manufactured the next 100,000 units in the next 18 months. For us, in order to produce uh, an ACOG, we start out with a forging. That's 7075 aluminum, you won't find anything tougher. We take that, we machine that, that housing then uh, goes out and is anodized. Um, some come back and are uh, Cerakoted different colors, uh, depending on customer desires. We take the housings after they're anodized, they'll get etched, um, they'll go into the room, uh, they'll start their journey down the ACOG line. Uh, the prisms are being built on the other area, uh, so they'll start out with a reticle paired up with a roof in a prism housing that builds through that assembly until a tail assembly or electronic is added to that depending on the application. Um, it'll then begin its journey down the line. Uh, it'll be sub-assembled, uh, then there's the prism install, uh, then we set the parallax and put the, the uh, objective lens in it um, and we send it down the line from there for a final cleaning. Uh, it's basically zeroing them in on a collimator, uh, fit form function, um, on to final inspection and out the door and into a package and into a customer's hands. So we're known for uh, being a battery free optic and that's provided by the fiber optic and the tritium lamp. So it can be used in daylight and no light uh, situations, and you have an illuminated reticle. And recently though, we have also introduced LED illuminated ACOGs, and that's available in a four by 32, as well as in a three and a half by 35. There's a couple advantages that the LED illuminated uh, ACOGs offer, and, and that's the ability to control the level of illumination. And it's also great for those areas where they're sensitive about tritium lamps. We're back at Trigicon in Wixom, Michigan, home of the ACOG, and the Advanced Combat Optical Gun Sight was really a simple idea in the mind of engineer Glenn Benden. It was really nothing more than half a binocular, but now it's become a family of combat-tested gun sights. Trigicon is excited to uh, commemorate and celebrate the milestone of the one million four by 32 ACOG. So at the core of the ACOG is the, the strength and the, its durability and ruggedness. And that comes from being forged from 7075 T6 aluminum. So extremely high strength core to the ACOG. And, and within that, we put in premium glass that offers just a, a brilliant aiming uh, solution for the user. So for a lot of folks, uh, Trigicon is best known for the ACOG, and that is a important pillar of the, the business, but we really ha have broadened the portfolio over the last several years. So we have our Reflex line, which is comprised of our RMR 
and MRO, which has been very popular. We have our Iron Sights line, of course, with four subfamilies within that. Uh, within the uh, sporting scope line, we have our AccuPoint and AccuPower for variable rifle scopes. And the newest uh, addition to the Trijicon family is our thermal optics or electro-optics uh, division. And these are extremely complex, industry-leading technology, and it's exciting to have that uh, join the Trijicon family. If I'm speaking to someone about a home protection or self-defense or a law enforcement officer, I say imagine this, if you're in a threatening situation, the last thing your body's going to want to do is change its focus off of your threat to that front sight post. The RMR is so unique because it allows you to continue to focus on the threat, as long as you present the pistol properly, get a good sight picture, all of a sudden this red dot appears on your target and it enables you to place those accurate shots that you might not otherwise have been able to make, as in using a traditional iron sight. It just makes your gun much more enjoyable to shoot. Why is that? Well, because the accuracy has improved. You are now looking at the target, and that dot is appearing on the target. It means you have a better trigger press. It means you're able to focus on where your rounds are going. The RMR is great because it only weighs 1.2 ounces, so it adds almost nothing to the gun. People can't feel a difference in the weight. And as time goes by, more and more shooters will come to see the value of it. While Trijicon is known for its ruggedized miniature reflex or RMR sight, and now the RMR2, it hasn't forgotten its roots. Trijicon started off with iron sights for pistols, and now it makes some of the best tritium-powered iron sights on the market. There are a lot of different advantages to having illuminated sights on your handgun. The main one is when situations are not as bright as the current situation that we're sitting in, or if you're not outside in bright daylight, say you're in a dark room or it's a, at dusk, it's not as easy to find just regular steel sights. So if you have the indexing points of the tritium uh, in the rear and in the front, you can line up those sights to take a shot if you had to engage a target in one of those lighting scenarios. People wanna feel safe, and when we get to talk to them about the advantages of having a, an illuminated night sight on your pistol, they can look to their nightstand, see those three glowing dots and know that their firearm's right there. So if anything were to happen, if somebody were to come into their house or something were to happen, they have something there to, to protect them. You know, in particular with our military contracts, we realize that people's lives depend on what we do. And we take that pretty seriously. Uh, every person at every step is looking at quality. Um, we're not reliant and dependent upon just one person at the end of the line to say yay or nay on quality. You know, the end goal is to provide the customer with the highest quality optic we possibly can. And that's what everybody here focuses on. One of the values of Trijicon is supporting the workers and the employees and the local community. And it's great to be at a company um, that proudly makes and manufactures here in Michigan, here in the U.S. Uh, so we're, we're proud uh, to be able to put Made in the USA on many of our products and that we stand behind them. Don't go anywhere because when we come back, we shoot the Ruger American Ranch in 7.62 by 39.